did anyone from the city ever respond to you? Still haven't gotten a call back yet. Animal lovers are frustrated at the city's radio silence on their calls. Call 6 investigates digs into those concerns and uncovers an enormous call backlog at Indianapolis Animal Care Services. Our Care Kenny is working for you tonight to get answers about what's behind the backup and what's being done to keep the community safe in the meantime. Here at Animal Care Services, hundreds of dogs and cats are waiting for a place to call home. But they're not the only ones who are waiting. Out in the community, animals are waiting because of a backlog. Jim Hale was at work when he spotted something in the woods. It's actually a male pit bull was leashed to a big tree. Jim says the dog's bull was knocked over, his ribs showing. So he called the mayor's action center and asked for animal control to come out. Anyone from the city ever respond to you? Still haven't gotten a call back yet. So how much time has passed since then? Uh, six days. And Jim is not alone. Call 6 investigates uncovered IECS enforcement has a backlog of more than 750 calls. That's seven times the normal amount. The backlog includes first calls and follow-up runs, according to IACS head Katie Trenopole. What do you say to people that are concerned about the safety of the public and of the animals? Yeah, we are concerned about that too and we're doing everything we can to get this addressed as quickly as possible. Trenopole says they're prioritizing calls based on public safety. So if an animal is biting somebody or um, attacking another animal, we get out there. The reality is the city is down eight animal control officers. Why are people leaving? It's, it's a hard job. I mean, it, it's a really thankless job. Um, it's hard for people. A lot of people get into this because they love the animals, and then you see animals in these neglectful situations, and then you're bringing them to the shelter. Um, it definitely takes its toll on you. They have four new officers starting this month and are working to fill even more. In the meantime, they're asking pet owners to be responsible, and if you call about an animal, provide as much detail as possible. As for Jim Hale, he's not happy about the backlog. It's terrible. He's taking matters and this dog into his own hands. And he looked at me and I went, I can't do this. I can't leave you here. So I unleashed him, brought him up. I had my truck pulled out there in the grass. I put him in my truck. He jumped right into passenger side. And when I tried to leave, he laid his head right down on my lap. A happy ending for this pup, but so many others are waiting for help. Kara Kenny, RTV6.